glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Good evening, good evening, good evening. Glory be to our God. Amen. Welcome to Mount Coma Ministries Wednesday night midweek Bible study. Amen. A time of refreshing coming from the Lord. Amen. We thank God for you who are tuning in via Facebook Live. We thank God for those who are tuning in via YouTube. We thank God for those who are coming into the house. We give God glory for him allowing us to be able to bring you these uh, messages via Facebook. Amen. Glory to God is a good God. Amen. And we've been talking about uh, that we are a royal priesthood, a chosen generation, a holy nation. And last week we talked about how God had given us peace and, and uh, as a part of the things that he's doing in our lives, he's given us peace. I'm sorry. He's given us peace. Uh, and tonight we're going to talk about confidence. It's important that we have this peace from God. Uh, the Bible even tells us that God will give us a peace that passes all understanding. Because when we are at peace with God, it doesn't matter what the enemy is doing in the world. When we're at peace with God, we are able to do exceedingly abundantly above all we can actually think because we are at peace with God. Amen. And that's what God wants us to have this peace so that our confidence will grow in him. Uh, last week handout, we, we got down to a part where we were talking about, we were getting ready to talk about the confidence that we have in God. Glory to God. And uh, that's what we're going to pick up and going to do a little from the handout from last week. And then we're going to shift to the handout that you have now. Amen. 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 Uh, let me give you this scripture before we get going good. Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 5, it's on last week's handout. It says, blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord and whose hope or confidence is in the Lord. Amen. So we want to know, we want to know that we are, well, let me say it this way. We are blessed when we have confidence in God. We are blessed when we have confidence in God, when our hope, when our trust is in God. Father God, we thank you for the opportunity to share your word tonight. Lord God, we decrease in this place that you may increase. Holy Spirit, have your way. Lead us and guide us into all of your truth that we may walk in it no matter what. We give you the glory in advance. In Jesus' mighty and matchless name, amen. And now let's look at Romans 5 here because he says faith triumphs trouble. So no matter what you and I are going through, when we have peace with God and we develop confidence in God's word, then no matter what kind of trouble comes, we're going to be able to overcome that because of who's on the inside of us. Look what it says. Therefore, having been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom also we have access by faith into grace where we stand. Stand. And we rejoice in the hope of the glory of God. And not only that, but we glory how even in our tribulations. It, isn't it good to know that you and I can have enough peace from God that when things are not going the way we want them to go, we can still have peace with God. And, and then the turbulence of the time doesn't shake our confidence in God. See, the enemy is after your peace because he knows the more you are at peace with God, the more confident we will become in God and the less capable he will be at tricking us out of what God said we could have. Amen. Because he's helped. He, God is God. Allow, look, look, God allows the enemy to do some things to help develop character in us. Woo, help me, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. The enemy, uh, 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 what did, what did uh, Joseph tell his, his brothers what the enemy meant for bad or what you guys meant for bad because y'all were operating on the, come on now. He said, but God meant it for good. Amen. God knew, can I say it this way? Glory to God. God knew what Joseph needed. Good God Almighty. God knew what Joseph needed to develop the kind of character for the role that Joseph had to walk. And God knows how to set things up so that you and I, it, it may not sound good, that, that, that you and I will go through some tough times in order to build us for where it is he's taking us. 
Amen. Glory to God. Because he's after a character because I heard somebody say it is so good. Uh, 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 character will keep you where God places you. Mm -hmm. If you got the right, char right character, if God placed you there, it'll keep you there. Amen. Because God knows how to work with you and knows how to show you how to work with people. Glory to God. Even if folk who don't like you will still work with you because the, of the character of God. They may, they, they may not be able to stand the anointed that's on you, but they can't do nothing about it. And when you don't, you, when you don't allow how they act at you, <laughs> you don't get out of character. Come on now. Glory to God. God starts to turn that thing around. Amen. So that's what God wants to do with us. That's why he wants us to have confidence in him. Look at 1 John, and I'm still in last week's notes. 1 John chapter 3, verse 20 through 20, uh, 20, 20 through 23. He said, if our hearts condemn us, God is greater than our hearts and he know, and, and, and knows all things. Beloved, uh, if our hearts do not condemn us, we have confidence towards God. Now, again, we want to have the, the enemy is after your peace because the more he knows you operate in the peace of God, the more your confidence is going to grow in God and, and, and he's not going to be able to do anything with you. And how many of you know that glory to God? Hallelujah. Even if my heart, uh, oh, how to say it? When I have confidence in God, I might, I, I, I might, I might still mess up. I might still mess up. But God is greater than my heart. Even if my heart start to condemn me for messing up, God still is God enough to forgive me. Ooh, glory to God. And, and I got to thank God for that. Amen. I got to thank God for that. I got to give him praise for that because I want to grow and I want to develop and I want my confidence in God to go to the next level. Somebody shout amen. amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. All right. Oh, uh, hallelujah. Uh, Hebrews chapter 10. I'm going to just skip to verse 35. It says, again, as you go through things, anybody on the going through some stuff? Okay. As you go through things, uh, 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 it, uh, uh, trouble is designed to try to shake your confidence or trouble can be designed to build your confidence in God. It's how you, how you respond to what's going on, amen? And when you could choose to respond by the word of the Lord, by trusting God, it's gonna build your confidence in God. And verse 35 says, do not cast away your confidence for it has great reward. So every time, they, look, uh, uh, a lot of times, help me, Holy Spirit, a lot of times when, uh, 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 let's say you have an accident, bad accident, and there's a scar on your face, a scar on your hand, uh, 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 maybe you got shot, help me, Jesus, uh, and, and you, got, you got a wound, uh, a lot of times people want to hide those scars. They want to hide those scars because those scars remind them of what happened. Y'all see here? OK, uh, but every now and then how you look at that, you need to be able at some point to look at the scar, to look at what you went through, the results of it, the, what remains of it and tell yourself, even though that happened, look at me now. Even though that happened, I came through it. Amen. So I, I shift my perspective as it, as it relates to some ne something negative that happened to me. And I start to use that as a motivator that even though I went through that. Glory to God. God kept me. Amen. Glory to God. A lot of folk got what happened. The same thing happened and they, they didn't make it. Glory to God. But now when I look at the scar, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not sad about it. I'm glad about it because God kept me. Amen. And my confidence is it, it wasn't me that kept me. It was God that kept me. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So confidence uh, is a multifaceted word. It encompasses a whole lot. Amen. Our faith in God that we have a blessed assurance or an assurance in our relationship with God. We have a sense of boldness and dependence on God all because we have confidence in, in him. Amen. Anybody got confidence in God tonight? Oh, hallelujah. That's the key. 
You got to have confidence in God. God, God. And, and I'm so glad that you said that because we're getting ready to go over to, uh, what is it, Philippians chapter 3, where Paul says, have no confidence in the flesh. Go tell the truth and shame the devil. Uh, 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 unless you got saved at an early age, you spent a whole lot of your time uh, having confidence in your flesh. What I'm able to do. Come on, come on, man. Come on, talk back to me now. What I'm able to do. But, but then you start to realize that it really wasn't you. Amen. Especially when it came to, the, came to those things where uh, negative things could have happened to you. Negative things should have happened to you, but they didn't. And even if they did, God brought you out of them. Amen. Because I don't know about you, I, I was in some situations, had it not been for the grace of God. Hallelujah. Where would I be? Hallelujah. But, but, but God, somebody said God, but God. Uh, hallelujah. Glory to God. So, so, so now we're going to, uh, I think he got that one on the board. I want to shift over to uh, developing confidence in God and starting at uh, Philippians chapter 3, verse 3 through 11. Look what it says. For we are the circumcision who worship God, who worship God in spirit. I want to I want to stop right there, and I already know I ain't gonna get through uh, the, the these pages. But we are the circumcision. When you hear that phrase, we are the circumcision. What 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 comes to your mind, man? I know some come, some come to y'all, man. Oh man, come on now. We are the circumcision. Huh? A change in the heart, amen. Oh, okay, okay. What? Because we all go through stuff, it has a way of affecting us, and it can affect us negatively. But when we allow the, uh, our confidence in God, our trust in God, our relationship with God, God can scaffold that out. God can cut all that away and not harm you. Amen. Glory to God. So that you are free from all of that now. Glory to God. So that you can now run the race. Glory to God. So it, 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 it's God's way of helping us to rid ourselves of stuff we don't need if we're going to follow him with our whole heart. Amen. Glory to God. He said, he said, rejoice in Jesus and have no confidence in the flesh. So God knows how to cut fleshly things away. But watch this now. Even though God can cut them away, there are some things you have to decide to lay aside. Amen. Hebrews, 11, Hebrews 12 says, since we're surrounded by a great cloud of witnesses, let us what? Lay aside every weight and the sin that so, look, 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 that, that so easily in stand. It's only easy because we've been used to it. Come on, church. Uh -huh. That used to be the way I, that, that, what was that, Bailey Whip? Was, you know, I don't know what the words you use. Uh, but, but that used to be our thing. That our confidence was in that. That our confidence was in that. Glory to God. And now God is shifting that. Tell you, God shifting that, amen. Uh, my confidence is not going to be in that anymore. It worked well for then, but this is now. Ooh, glory to God, glory to God. This is now, and because this is now, I got to have confidence in God. Watch this now, and in God alone. Uh-oh. Mm-hmm. Lay that aside. We got laid that aside mm -hmm. because we still have no confidence over here yet. Come. Mm. And, and that's the beautiful thing about God. God will meet us where we are to grow us into that person. Amen. To grow us into that character so that no matter what, we're going to be. And, and, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get ahead of myself. If you, look, if you look at the back of that page, the last three things on that on, on page six is, uh, 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 now my mind just tried to go blank on me. The what old is, or the new one? The old, the, old the, the, the new one. one. The new one. The new one on page six. What is it? Uh, 
new strategies, hard, hard decisions, and steadfastness. Yes. See, when our confidence in, grows in God, that's what's going to start to happen. No matter what's going on, God's going to be able to give us strategies on how to handle it. And there are going to be some hard decisions because sometimes, oh, thank you for that one, God. You're so good to me. Abraham was really tied to Ishmael and Hagar. Amen. But when God said, you've got to send her away, he had, it was a hard decision that he had to make, but he was able to make it because God said do it. And his confidence now is not in him. His confidence is in God knows what's best. Glory to God. And that's why we want, that's how, that's why, that's how we grow. Glory to God. So our confidence can't be in the, in the flesh. And look what Paul kind of talks about uh, as, the, as, a, as a way of saying what he used to have confidence in. Glory to God. He, said, he says, though I may also have confidence in the flesh, if anyone else thinks he might have confidence in the flesh, I more so circumcised on the eighth day, just like Jesus, the stock of Israel, come on now, uh, of the tribe of Benjamin, a Hebrew of Hebrews, and concerning the law, a Pharisee, concerning zeal, persecuting the church, concerning righteous, it, which is in the law, blameless. Paul says, I was doing that thing. I was doing that thing. Everything, everything that was required of me, I was doing it, and I was doing it well. But a change, a change, change, hallelujah, I, I, I feel like, um, a change has, come on now, <laughs> see, when a change comes over you, glory to God, uh, uh, it comes over you, Woo, glory to God, and folk should see change, glory to God, look what he said, look what he said, he said, he said, he said, but what things were gained for me? I count but loss. You see, when you're willing to lose it for Christ, you gain more of Christ. Oh, hallelujah. Watch this now. He said, yet indeed, all also count all things but loss for the excellency of the knowledge of Christ, uh, my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of many things, and I count them but rubbish that I may gain Christ. See, 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 look, see, 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 look. Whatever you sacrifice for Christ, you're going to always get more back. Oh, hallelujah. You're going to get more back than whatever you sacrifice. Just like sowing a seed. If you sow a seed in the ground of, that, that grows a, 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 a stalk of corn, you're going to have at least, uh, 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 old folks said, four or five roshan ears. Uh, hallelujah. I just felt my, I just felt my, I felt my daddy up in here. Uh, you're you going to have four or five ears of corn in that stalk of corn, and they say there's anywhere from 700 to 1,000 kernels in each stalk. But all you sowed was one seed. Woo, glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Watch this now. He says, he says, he says, verse 9. I found uh, uh, and be found in him, uh uh, not having my own righteousness, which is of the law, but that which is through faith in Christ. The righteousness is from God by faith, that I may know him in the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his suffering, being conformed to his death, if by any means I may have, uh, obtain the resurrection from the dead. Look at Paul now. Paul says, Paul said, I let all my past go. So that I can live for Christ now. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. So our confidence, uh, our confidence is a, a feeling or a belief that we can rely on someone or something. For Christians, is that I can rely on God. Yeah. I, I can rely on God. My faith ain't in faith. My faith is in God. Amen. Glory to God. Go with us. And I love how Habakkuk says it. Habakkuk says, the just shall live by his faith, amen, glory to God. So, so you can't live by the faith that somebody else has. That, 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 that faith can kind of give you a beacon. That faith can kind of give you what to look for. But you've got to develop faith within yourself. Ooh, hallelujah, amen. And, and that faith, can I talk about it? It's going to be challenged. And you got to have enough confidence in it that when you are challenged, you stay the course. Amen, glory to God, glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. So, so, so Paul tossed everything out and he said, I'm going to trust God. I'm going to trust Christ. Glory to God. So uh, 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 his confidence was not in his flesh, 
but in his flesh, he developed confidence in God. Woo. Mm -hmm. Galatians 2 and 20 tells us that. He says, he's in Galatians 2 and 20, uh, I'm crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Yet not I, but Christ that liveth in me. And the life I now live, how? In the flesh. I live by faith in the Son of God who gave himself for me. Amen? Yeah. So, so God letting us know that I don't want you to have confidence in your flesh, but I know that you're still in the flesh. And you got to know that even though you're still in the flesh, you can have confidence over your flesh in me. That's why Paul writes in Romans, you got to submit your body as a living sacrifice. Oh, because when, when you give it to him, he'll, uh-huh, glory to God, he'll, he'll start to talk to you about the fruit of the spirit. And the fruit of the spirit is just his spirit. And so when you develop the fruit of the spirit in your spirit, there's one called self-control. Glory to God. And so whenever you're challenged with something, the power of God to control yourself is there. Woo, hallelujah. Good. But see, you got to let the, oh, help me. You got to let this mind, God help me, be in you. Glory to God. That was also in Christ. See, when you let it, it'll do it. Good God Almighty. I don't know about you, but I'm about to get a little too happy. Let me calm down. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Proverbs 3, 26, the says, the Lord will be your confidence and will keep your foot from being caught. Ain't that something? Glory to God. Because if you take Proverbs, what is it? Proverbs, Proverbs uh, 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 3, he said, trust in the Lord with all thine heart. Lean not to thine own understanding. In all your ways, what? Acknowledge him and he will direct your path. So when your confidence in God, you don't mind God leading you. You don't mind God guiding you. Or am, I, am I right about it? And so your foot, tell your neighbor, my foot ain't going to get caught. Yeah. Glory to God. Here you go. Here, here's some more. So, tell your neighbor, my foot is not going to get caught. Uh-huh. Glory to God. Uh, uh, uh. And see, again, since the enemy is after our, our peace, stop and think about it. There's a scripture that said, we are snared by the words of our mouth. Mm -hmm. So if the enemy is able to get your peace and you don't have confidence in God, your mouth will say some stuff. Uh-huh. And you get snared by what you say. Ooh, but when my confidence is in God, and I, I look, look, Paul says another thing, make no provision for the flesh. Oh, glory to God. To tell the truth and shame the devil. There have been times in our lives where, where, where the only thing we were thinking about providing for was the flesh. Can I just talk about it for a minute? It is Thursday night. You single and you love the mingle. You started thinking about what was going to happen Friday night. Oh, come on now. Come on. Okay, okay. Maybe I'm the only one that went to the club. But, 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 but you start thinking about what outfit you was going to wear? Come on now. What you were doing? Come on, come on help me out now. We, you were making provisions for the flesh. And now, now what God is saying, you done shifted now. Amen. Now make no provisions for the flesh. So I now need you to start making provisions for the spirit. Amen. Glory to God. Why? Because when you left the enemy, the enemy got ticked off. And he wants you back. He, he, he worse than Michael Jackson. Ooh, ooh, ooh baby. He, 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 he oh, y'all, y'all, come on now. He wants you back. Look, look, look. Okay, 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 okay. I, I can't go. Huh. You know what? He, can't, he, don't, he don't like nothing about you, but he will try to hoodwink you and bamboozle you and make you think y'all bosom buddies. See, uh, 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 what, what, what Brother Mike said, uh, uh, God can't lie and the devil can't tell the truth. So why are you going to run with somebody that can't tell the truth? Not only will he lie to you, he'll lie on you. And tell folk you lie. But God, someone said, but God. 
when, again, when we start to develop confidence in God, we got peace from God, and now we're allowing that peace to help us develop confidence in God. And, 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 and when the Lord is our confidence, the scripture tells us right here, he'll keep our feet from getting caught. Glory to God. Why? Because he's directing our path, and we are allowing the Holy Ghost to lead and to guide us. Amen? Glory to God. How many trust in God tonight? Oh, yeah. Glory to God. See, when you got saved, glory to God, hallelujah, your confidence started going up in God, you start having peace from God, trusting in God, but you also became a target of the enemy. Amen. Because the enemy don't like the fact that you left him and you're now serving God. Oh, and see, you so good, you, you, you took folk with you. <sighs> Say that with me. I'm bringing some folk out with me. Glory to God. See, 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 see. When, you, when you start to get that mindset, glory to God, you're already a target. Why not go on and be a bigger? Even though you, you done made it through, you're in the safety, everybody telling you you crazy for going back, there's something, God, oh God help me, there has to be something on the inside of you that says, I can't settle for being saved by myself. Glory to God. You got to have enough option. The Bible says you snatching folk out of the fire, you don't even like the clothes they got on. Amen? Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God. So developing, developing confidence in God will bring a change, uh, 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 changes to one's mindset. And, and these changes will reveal our confidence in God or whether or not we have confidence in our flesh. Amen? So I want to talk about Joshua. For, uh, 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 we're going to finish up talking about Joshua because Joshua was one that learned to develop confidence in God. When we first hear about Joshua, God tells Moses to find somebody to fight for him. And Moses finds Joshua. And Joshua is fighting. And let's go to uh, Exodus. Well, well uh, I want you to just get these in your spirit. We're going to talk about them a little bit, but I want to give them again. When Joshua, as Joshua developed confidence in God, he was able to receive new strategies from God on how to operate. Amen. He's a, he's a man of war, but he learns how to trust God that God will fight for it. Uh -huh. And then he was able to make hard choices because his confidence wasn't in his flesh. His confidence was in God. Amen. And he developed a steadfastness that kept him on course no matter what. Are oh, y'all with me? Okay. Let, 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 let's look at here in Joshua chapter 1. Uh, 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 verse 1 through 3 kind of talks about He said, Moses, my servant, is dead. You, my man. But look at verse 4. He said, from the wilderness of Lebanon, and, and if somebody got the microphone, I may get you to read for me because I, 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 I'm, I'm feeling some kind of way up here. Glory to God. He said, uh, uh, from the wilderness of Lebanon to the far, uh, to, uh, as far as the great river, uh, the river Euphrates, and all the land of the Hittites, and uh, to, the, to the great sea toward the going down of the sun shall be your territory. No man will be able to stand before you all the days of your life. As I was with Moses, uh, so will I be with you. I will not leave you or forsake you. Be strong and very courageous. So this is one of the first times he started reading. He's, he's telling him, be strong and very courageous. In a, in another way of saying that, he's telling him, have confidence that I'm going to be with you. Have confidence in me. I'm going to be with you. Don't be, don't be, don't be scared. It's going to be all right. Amen. Glory to God. He goes on to say, he said, for the people, uh, you, shall, uh, you shall divide as an inheritance the land which I, sh uh, I swore to their fathers to give them. Only be very courageous. There it is again. Only be very, he, he's still letting them know that I'm, I'm, I'm with you. Go, go with God. You'll let your courage be in the fact that I'm with you. One of the promises of God is that I will be with you. I'll never leave you. Amen. So one of the things that helps us is to know that God has told us, I ain't going to leave you. I'm not going to forsake you. And, and Joshua, uh, God even told Moses to bring Joshua alongside of you because I want the people to see him alongside of you because I want them to start to get used to seeing him in this position. Are oh, y'all hearing what I'm saying? And he's developing confidence in God 
through, through Moses. Are you hearing what I'm saying? He's at the foot of Mount Sinai when Moses is up there for the 40 days and 40 nights. Amen. Glory to God. He shows that he's dedicated to the cause. Okay, so let's keep going. What's it going? He said, he said, he said, uh, uh, well, let me just skip down to verse eight. He said, this book of the law shall not depart from out of your mouth. In it shall you meditate both day and night that you may observe to do according to all that is written there, in, written in it. For then you will make your word prosperous and you, then you will have good success. So he's letting them know one of the ways to continue to grow in me, to have confidence in me, to have peace from me, is look at what I have already done. Allow this book, focus on what's in this book, meditate on what's in this book, observe to do what's in this book, and then, amen? So he's given him, thank you God, he's given him, he's given him the recipe or the diet that he needs to start to partake of in order to become, become strong in the Lord and have strong confidence no matter what in God. Amen. So, 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 so glory to God. You are what you eat. I'm going to say that one more time. You are what you eat. Hallelujah. You are what you eat. Come on now. You are what you eat. So that's why you, the Bible, the, the, the Bible teaches and the people, the people, what you say now? Yeah, I know you said something about bacon, but that's all right. That's all right. That's all right. I don't know. Folk be messing with you, though, glory to God. Uh, 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 that's why the Bible, we need to have a balanced diet. Somebody say amen. amen. Hallelujah. And see, the more we have a, ba a balanced diet of the word of God, we incorporate praise, we incorporate worship, we, you know, uh, uh, all these principles that God has put in his word, we start to add those to our lives. Your confidence can't help but to grow in God. Amen. amen. And the enemy going to get scareder and scareder of you. But can I tell you something? He will still try you. He would still try you. He was, and see, don't you ever get to the point where you're, oh, I, I, I'm bad, bad. Leave, you know, don't, don't ever think you, Leroy Brown, that you're so bad that you, come on now, come on now, that the enemy won't try you, amen? Because when you get, okay, 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 stop, okay, yes, sir, yes, sir, okay. So here it is, he, 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 this is Joshua. So the first thing we want to talk about, that he'll got to give you new strategies. New strategies. Joshua is a man of war. Joshua knows how to handle a sword, a shield, a, a, a spear. He's a man of war. But now when he becomes God's man, he has to learn new strategies from the Lord. In, in Exodus, it talks about Exodus 17, uh, 12 through 16. Uh, it, it talks about where Moses was. And Joshua's down there fighting. Moses' hand get tired. Aaron and her uh, come up under him and, 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 and hold him up. And then even scoot a rock up under him. Amen. Tell your neighbor, tell your neighbor, good, good, good something I said, good help, good help, good help. Good help, good help, good, good. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God. And, 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 but look at verse 13. So Joshua defeated the Amalites and the people with the edge of a sword. So we see here that Joshua knew how to handle his, the weaponry of, of his day. Am I, am I, am I right about it? And so, so, so I want you to get that in your spirit that Joshua is a man of war. Joshua knows how to handle a sword. He knows how to handle a spear. But watch now, as God transcends him, he learns how to uh, 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 not depend on that, but depend on God. Are oh, you hearing what I'm saying? Glory to God. Okay, okay. So he learned how to trust God. Uh, uh, where I want to go, where I want to go, where I want to go. Uh, mm. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God. Let's go to Joshua chapter 6. Let's go to Joshua chapter 6. In Joshua chapter 6, uh, Josh, uh, uh, Jericho is straightway shut up. Amen. And, he, and God now tells Joshua how they're going to take Jericho. Uh-huh. It don't have nothing to do with no sword. Don't have nothing to do with a spear. Don't have anything to do with a shield. But it has everything to do with faith and confidence in God. Uh, and obedience to God's word. Amen. Glory to God. He said, he said, verse four, he said, and the seven priests shall bear uh, seven trumpets of ram's horn, that, that shofar, uh, uh, before the ark. And uh, can, can somebody read that for me? Glory to God. I read it. All right. Joshua 6, verse uh -huh. 4. And the seven priests shall bear seven trumpets of ram's horn before the ark. But the seventh day you shall march around the city seven times, and the priests shall blow the trumpets. It shall come to pass when they make a long blast with the ram's horn, and when you hear the sound of the trumpet, that all the people shall shout with a great shout. Then the walls of the city will fall down flat, 
and the people shall go up every man straight before him. Amen. So, so he tells Joshua, this is how you go in this thing. Now, we know Joshua had an encounter with an angel there, and he, he asked the angel, are you for us or are you for them? Amen. And the angel said, no, I'm, 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 I'm uh, the army of the Lord. Amen. Yeah. Glory to God. I'm, I'm, I'm the captain yeah. of the army of the Lord. Amen. Uh, I'm for God. Yeah. <laughs> that that, that better make you run right there, yeah. because if God be for you, yeah. oh, God have mercy. Who can be? Come on now. See, when your confidence is in him, it doesn't matter how big the obstacle is. And watch when the strategy comes where you're not using no dynamite, no C4. There's no ballistic missiles. God going to cause the walls to fall flat. And you got to trust him. You got to trust him. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And, woo, in verse Verses 15 through 17, it happened just like that. Tell your neighbor, it happened just like that. Glory to God, glory to God. No, 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 uh, uh, glory to God, glory to God, glory to God. Hallelujah. Let me just throw this in there for good measure. In, 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 in verse 17, look what it says. The last, ver last part of verse 17. Only Rahab the harlot shall live. And she and all who were with her in her house, because they hid the messengers that were sent. Now, 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 what y'all think about that right there? It's a good thing. It's a good thing, a good thing cause she did a good thing. Yeah. Uh-huh, in, in, in other words, she, what she told, we, she, if you go back, she told the spies, when y'all showed up, when they heard y'all was coming, everybody's heart melted. They got, they were scared of y'all. And, and, but, but, but watch that, watch this down. Isn't it funny that folk, be watching you. Cause, the, Cause they came and said, Rahab, where them folk at? And, and she said, who, who y'all talking about? Oh yeah, they, uh, they, they got. She put her life in jeopardy for the Lord. Can I tell you something? Anytime you make a sacrifice, anytime you do something for the Lord, God can't stand to owe you. God will bless you in some kind of way because you bless him or you bless his people. Who glory be to God. The spies told her, you know, when they left, you know, hang, 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 hang a red rope out so we'll know where your house is. And, and her house was on the wall. But her house didn't fall with the wall. Hmm, he's more than able. Uh -huh. See, 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 again, God is strategic. That's why he can give you strategies. He knew how to do that thing. Somebody shout amen. amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. So, but Joshua had to be obedient to what God said. And, and Joshua, thank you for that, God. Joshua's people had to be obedient to what God said. Or what Joshua said. This is what the Lord said. This is what we got to do. Because nobody could walk around the wall murmuring and complaining. Amen. They had to be sold out. Amen. Woo! Glory be to God. I'm so high. You better help me say. Glory to God. Glory to God. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh huh. Good. She had confidence. She had confidence. Glory to God. Yes, ma'am. She had confidence. She, she developed confidence quick, fast, and in a hurry. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Can I, uh, let's go to Joshua chapter 10. Because I, I got some more I want to go. Let's go to Joshua. Because God giving them new strategies now. And he's operating under these new strategies. And they work and tell your neighbor, they work and they work and they work and. Hallelujah. Uh, 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 Joshua chapter 10. Glory to God. Because Joshua's confidence is growing in God. Hallelujah. It's, gro it's growing so in him that he talking this stuff now. Oh, come on, church. Good God. About Joshua getting ready to start talking this stuff. Hallelujah. Woo! Glory be to God. Can somebody read for me, please, please, please? Uh, start at verse 11. Verse 11. Uh-huh. Joshua 10. And it happened uh -huh. as they fled before Israel uh -huh. and were on the descent of Beth Haran, uh -huh. that the Lord cast down a large hailstone, down large hailstones from heaven on them as far as Azkah. 
and they died. There were more who died from the hailstorm uh -huh. than the children of Israel killed with the sword. Come on. Then Joshua spoke to the Lord in the day when the Lord delivered up the Amorites uh -huh. before the children of Israel, and he said in the sight of Israel, Come on now. Sun stand still over Gibeon. Come on now. And moon in the valley of Agilon. So the sun stood still and the moon stopped till the people had revenge upon their enemies. Glory to God. Is this not written in the book of Jasher? So the sun stood still in the midst of the heaven and did not hasten to go down for about a whole day. And there's been no day like that before it or after it that the Lord heeded the voice of a man mm -hmm. for the Lord fought for Israel. Glory to God. Glory to God. Look at Joshua. Look, look, look at his confidence level. That, that he, he, he's bold enough to say, son, stand still. And the son obey. Glory to God. That's why Jesus stepped to the bow of the ship, said, peace, God help me, be still. And the winds and the waves obeyed him. Amen. Glory to God. Look at the kind of power you have when you have confidence in God. Glory to God, that you can speak the stuff. What Jesus said, if you say to this mountain, be thou removed and cast in the sea, and don't doubt in your heart, it'll do what you said. Woo, glory be to God. This is the kind of confidence that we have when we trust in God. And when God starts giving you new, uh, new strategies, you can't keep holding on to the way you did it. You, you, you know, back then, you got to be willing to let God be God. Amen. Glory to God. So Joshua spoke to the sun, moon, all that stuff. Glory to God. Tell your neighbor you got to trust God. Tell him again you got to trust God. Oh, hallelujah. Tell him again you got to trust God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Amen. And when you trust him, glory to God, God will continue to give you strategies. God will continue to walk you. He'll continue to grow you. He'll continue to develop you. Let's go to the next one. Hard choices. Hard choices. Hard choices choices. When you have confidence in God, you're going to have to make some hard choices. As we talked about Hebrews 12, 1, uh, that you may uh, uh, lay aside every weight and the sin that so easily ensnares us, that we may run with endure, uh, uh, endurance or uh, patience the race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus, who's the author and the finisher of our faith. So you got you, you to gotta be willing. See, Jesus says, if any man desires to come after me, let him deny himself, take up his cross daily, and follow me. Amen. So there's some hard choices that you're going to have to make because, if, as Deke said, if there's some things you're so tied to that you don't want to let go of, you're not going to let go of them. Hallelujah. But if you want your confidence level and the character to develop in you that God is needing in you in these last days, then you're going to have to be able to be empowered by God to make those hard choices. Oh, oh, look, look. She made a hard choice. And I'm so glad you, because cause deep, deeper down here in them notes, glory to God. Not only did Rahab had to make a hard choice, but some, the folk of Israel had to make a hard choice and not seeing her as who she used to be and now see her as she is and that she ends up in the lineage of Christ. See, see, sometimes it's a hard choice for you to stop thinking about somebody the way they used to be. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Glory to God. And when you put that aside and you start to see them through a different lens, the way, oh, there you go, the way God sees them. So, hallelujah. Huh? And how, and you, know, you know, and, 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 and that's good. That, that's good. You know, back when we were reading Joshua six, uh -huh. but not only her, but you know, they said in six twenty three, and a young man who had been spies went in and brought out Rahab. The other Peter made a hard choice. Her father was uh, in the house. Her uh, mother was in the house. <laughs> her brother was in the house. Come on now. And they said all that she had. So it was a lot of people. It was a lot of people. They were worshiping all these other gods, mm -hmm. you know, the gods of that land. But they, they were spared. They, they were in there with her. They, they, they made a hard choice to say, you know what? Okay, we believe. We're going to believe. We're going to believe what you said. We're going to believe your report that this is the God, the one and only true God. Not, not Baal, not Asherah, not all these, other, these others. Hallelujah. 
and, 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 and thank you for saying it. And that's one of the key elements. Your, com your confidence in God has the ability to save other people. Had you not decided to give your life to Christ and start to live for him, somebody on that road that you were traveling never would have got to see Jesus. Oh, man. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Because you made a hard choice. Uh -huh. You made a hard choice. I, I, I ain't, I, I ain't going to do this no more. I ain't going. I'm going to follow God. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And, uh, Oh man, that, that, that'll preach all by itself. Oh, yeah. in, in, in uh Joshua chapter 7, they done took Ai. I mean, they done took Jericho, but now Ai was supposed to have been a place that they just took. Amen. It, it, it was it, it's supposed to have been a pushover. Uh-huh. But but because sin got in the camp, sin in the camp. they couldn't push it over. Oh, y'all heard understanding what I'm saying? Yeah. And so, so uh, uh, he tells us, he said, because uh, verse, verse one talks about the fact because somebody took the accursed things. God said, don't touch none in Jericho. Because, it, watch this now, thank you for that, God. Everything in Jericho was under a curse. But yet Rahab and her whole family who were under the curse got spared. Mm -hmm. Oh, hallelujah, because God said so. Woo, glory to God. See, and, 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 and God rewards faithfulness. Woo, glory to God. Because of her faithfulness, her and her family got saved. But the city was still destroyed. Come on, church. Glory to God. See, you got to say, hey, you got to decide, I'm going to be obedient no matter what. Okay, 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 okay. I'm sorry. Okay, so, 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 so. Uh, uh, where am I, where am I? So anyway, uh, 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 God told uh, Josh, what to do? He, he, he went, came to Aiken, told Aiken, you know, fess up. You know, how many know God will tell you what somebody did? Hallelujah. You know, you know folk, folk be thinking that, 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 that somebody called you and told you something. Uh, ain't nobody called you and told you nothing but the Holy Ghost. <laughs> Oh, excuse me, I'm coming to calm down now. God, God knows how to, come on now. And so, so, so when he fessed up, uh, look at verse 20. And Achan answered Joshua and said, Indeed, I have sinned against the Lord God of Israel, and this is what I have done. When I saw among the spoils the beautiful Babylonian garments, uh, just because they had Brook Brothers suit, you didn't have to take now. He said, he said, the 200 shekels of silver, a wedge of gold, weighing 50 shekels, uh, I covered them and I took them. And there, and there they are hidden in the earth in the midst of my tent with the silver under. So, so he had touched that, those accursed things. You know, now, 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 now he's, he's, he, he, he's, he knows the power of God. But he allowed what he saw to cause a, a, a lust in him that caused him to break confidence, to break trust, to break reliance on God. Find somebody and say, don't let, don't let what the world shows you cause, it, cause you to lose your confidence in God. Woo, hallelujah. Stay obedient, amen. Stay obedient, stay obedient. Because this is what God is looking for. He says, uh, I, I, I prefer obedience over sacrifice. And, you know, and sometimes you got to know being obedient is a sacrifice. <laughs> Especially when you've been used to being disobedient. Come on now. Woo, hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Okay. So look, look what happened. Joshua had to make the hard choice. Uh, verse 24 and 25. In, in chapter 7? Uh, 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 yes, sir. Chapter 25. Yes, sir. Uh-huh. Then Joshua and all Israel with him took the son of Zerah. The silver, the garment, the way to go, his sons, his daughters, his oxen, his donkeys, his sheep, Ooh. his tent, and all he had, and they brought them to the valley of, a of, of Acre. And Joshua said, why have, why have you troubled us? The Lord will trouble you this day. So all Israel stoned him with stones, and they burned them with the fire after they had stoned them with stones. Amen. So... When you have confidence in God, 
When you have confidence in God, that confidence will give you the power, the ability to make the hard choices. Yeah. Amen. Bad choice, and, oh, look, look. He said it's going to help somebody else not to make a bad choice. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And we, we already kind of talked about the fact that glory to God. Uh, and it was brought up good that, that, that the people of Israel had to make hard choices in receiving Rahab into their midst. And, and, and after they receive Rahab into their midst, Rahab ends up in the lineage of Christ Jesus. Absolutely. Amen. Glory to God. So don't tell us what God can't do with a person. Amen. <laughs> See, don't, just because of who you used to be does not negate who God called you to be. That's good That's right sure. there. That's Glory sure. to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, God. So here's the last thing we're going to talk about is steadfastness. One of the key elements in developing confidence or the character that God wants you and I to have is a steadfastness, a steadiness. Steadfast is a quality of being resolute. Uh, dutiful, firm, unwavering, not allowing what, what the world says, what the world does to shake you. Uh, 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 one of the scriptures says, always abounding in the faith of the Lord. Amen. This is what God wants. God wants us to be steadfast and unmovable. And when we have confidence in him, that's how we're going to be. Somebody shout amen. Oh, uh, hallelujah. Uh, uh, Look at the Apostle Paul before we, before we go a little further. Uh, the Apostle Paul in 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verses 19 to 23. And this is what Paul says. For though I am free from all men, yet I made myself a servant unto all, that I may gain the more. Unto the Jews I became as a Jew, that I might gain the Jews. That, uh, and to them that are under the law, as under the law, that I might gain them that are under the law. To them that are without the law, as without the law, being not without the law of God, but under the law of Christ, that I may gain them that are without the law. In other words, Paul says, I'm, I'm able, going back to what, what, what Deacon Coleman was saying earlier, Paul says, I'm able to go back to places that uh, 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 where I used to do all kinds of stuff, mm -hmm. but I'm so steadfast now in him that where I go don't affect me. Yeah. Amen. Glory to God. I'm so steadfast. I have so much confidence in God that I'm, no, I'm not worried about something being drawn back into that because my confidence is no longer in my flesh. My confidence is in God. Amen. Yeah. Glory and, to God. You know, that, that, that's real powerful there because... That was another part of the study I was doing. I'm talking about how, how a lot of times we will say as we're growing on this Christian walk, you just say, well, I don't go to those places. I don't go there no more. He said, well, you know, if you're in Christ, you're in your confidence, you don't say, well, you're not, because you don't know what he's going to send you. Gonna you say, know what he's going to tell you to go. Amen. If Amen. you believe in him, you say, hey, wherever you want me to go, here I am, send me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so you don't say, well, I'm That's not right. going because right. you, you don't say you don't go there. So what? So you got a weakness there or something? So you believe, what say, there's no there's no fear in love yeah. for perfect love cast, cast out, out fear. fear. You Amen. So you know, you can't have no fear about going there. Yeah. You know, even uh, the long handled spoon. You got you got to go and just get the teaspoon. <laughs> Help me, Holy Ghost. Glory yeah. to God. Glory to God. It's, Amen. It's Amen. Yeah. And look, uh, 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 what, what I put down here. Glory to God. Paul is steadfast. He's living regenerated. Even though he's living in an unregenerated world. Right. And see, God wants us to have that kind of steadfastness yeah. because we're still in an unregenerated world. But you have been redeemed. Amen. Come on now. Glory to God. Tell you, apart from God. Amen. What he said, I learned that in my flesh dwelleth no good thing. But thanks be to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah. Glory to God. Uh, Joshua uh, 24, uh, 11 through 15. These are the last scriptures we're going to use tonight. Amen. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. So, uh, uh, Brother Coleman, if you start at verse 11 for me, and I may stop you, but, but okay. we'll, we go into verse uh, 15. Glory to God. Then you went over the Jordan and came to Jericho. Mm -hmm. And the men of Jericho fought against you, also the Amorites, the Perizzites, the Canaanites, the Hittites, 
the Gagarchites, the Hivites, and the Jebusites. But I delivered them into your hand. Uh -huh. I set the hornet before you, which drove them out from before you. Also the two kings of the Amorites, but not with your sword, with your bow. God fight I, for you, ain't he? Yeah. Go ahead. I have given you a land for which you did not labor, uh -huh. the cities which you did not build, uh -huh. and you dwell in them. You eat of the vineyards and olive groves which you did not plant. Mm. Now, therefore, fear the Lord, fear serve the Lord. in sincerity and in truth, uh -huh. and put away the gods which your father served on the other side of the river and in Egypt. Serve the Lord. Glory to Every God. Every season is evil to you to mm -hmm. serve the Lord. Choose <laughs> yourself this day Come on now. whom you will serve. Come on. Were the gods which your, which your father served that were on the other side of the river or the gods of the Amorites in whose land you dwell? But as for me and my house, Hallelujah. we will serve the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Look, look, look at that steadfastness. Y'all yeah, right go on and do what y'all want to do. I know what God done done. That's right. Therefore, as for me and my house, we're going to serve the Lord. That's right. See, God is willing to develop that same kind of confidence yeah. in us so that he can give us the new strategies so that we can make the hard choices and so that we can be so steadfast no matter what the enemy does, we're not going to be moved. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And see, that's the kind of confidence that God wants to develop in you and I. So now God, we got a couple of men. Talk to me. Talk to me. Do you have what kind of confidence do you have in God? Hallelujah. What kind of confidence do you have in God? Great confidence. Yeah, fully. 100%. No doubt. Which should you in, in all situations? Hallelujah. Say, say it again. I was, I was a little distracted. No, I tell you, should be in all situations. Come on now. And I think a lot of times, I know I, know I found myself sometimes where, where I'm fully persuaded in, in one situation, then I find myself in another situation, and then I realize that, you know what, I'm, I'm, that's right, I, I am teeter tottering, and I should not have been. And later on, I said, man, I don't believe I did it. I just, you know, I'm saying one thing. I'm both talking out both sides of my mouth here. Uh -huh. Glory to God. And, and, and again, that's good to say that's good. That's good when it happens because God is showing us us so that we can. Now, now, now he exposes a weak area and now he can strengthen me in that area when I go to him and say, help me in this area. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Because God wants you strong. Amen. Hallelujah. He, 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 he wants you strong in him. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And, and he don't mind it. What, what he wants with you, wants with us, is for us to say, I need you. Amen. I need you. I need you. I need you. Can't make it without you. <laughs> Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh-huh. Dance. <laughs> but you know, oh, oh, help us, Jesus. Help us, Jesus. Sometimes, them the test we flunk. <laughs> but yes, gave him the questions and the answers. Amen. Glory to God. Come on. That's right. Mm hmm. This is the choice you need to make. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Anybody else? Anybody else? Pastor Deborah, you got anything? Hallelujah. Glory to God. Minister Mavis, you got anything? Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory to God. Glory to God. Betty, you got anything? You good? Oh, she said, I'm good all over. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If y'all didn't recognize her, that's a Leah back there in the back. Amen. Hallelujah. Wave, wave your hand in the air. Hallelujah. And, and I, I forgot his name. What's, what's the little man's name? Say it again. Ezra. Ezra. And Ezra's daddy name is Aaron. Hallelujah. I, I'm a leader. 
Hallelujah. God's a good God. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. If you're in this house and you've never accepted Jesus as the Lord and Savior of your life, you're in the right place at the right time. Glory to God. God sent his only begotten son to die on the cross to pay the penalty and the price for sin. That you and I could be redeemed and that our lives could be regenerated in him. But it can't happen if you don't receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and as your Savior. It's simple, glory to God. All you have to do is confess your sins and say, Father, forgive me of my sins. I believe that Jesus Christ is your only begotten son. That he came from heaven to earth and he died on the cross for my sin. And he's seated at your own right hand. Jesus, forgive me of my sins. Come into my life. Live in me. If you pray that prayer and you believe that he's coming, he's living in you now. And you're saved. Your life is regenerated. Amen. Now all you got to do is allow the Holy Spirit. That's it, God. Thank you. Glory to God. Receive the Holy Spirit. Allow the Holy Spirit to start to lead you and guide you and direct you. Glory to God. He's never going to speak of himself. Only that which the Father says. And then he has the power to show you things that are to come. Amen. Somebody may have prayed that prayer, but you allow the cares of the world, the troubles of the world, the re unregeneratedness of the world to cause you to drift back over into what God called you out of. You know, the scripture we started here, he's called us out of darkness into his marvelous light. Mm -hmm. God wants you to walk in the light. Just tell, tell the Lord, Father, forgive me for going back into the darkness. Take me back. Forgive me. He'll meet you right where you are. And glory to God, he'll put you back in right standing with himself. Last but not least, if you don't have a church home. We are Mount Carmel Ministries, Vicksburg. We're here at 2015 Grove Street. We'll be glad to have you as a part of our congregation where we'll teach you as the Holy Ghost teaches us how to win in each and every area of our life. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Father God, we thank you for your word tonight. We thank you for all that are in the house. We thank you for all those who are online. Father, we give you the glory, give you the honor, and we praise you. We thank you for your peace, O oh God that passes all understanding. And Father, we thank you that you are helping to grow our confidence in you, that we are able to do all the things that you've called, commissioned us to do. We decree by faith that it is so in Jesus' mighty and matchless name. If you agree, go on and shout amen, amen, and amen. Come on, give God some glory in this place. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Mary, Mary.